Well, welcome, friends, uh, to this uh, edition of the Whiskey Neighbor. I'm John, your Whiskey Neighbor, and uh, I'm actually pretty excited for tonight. Before my wife went to uh, take our daughter to Irish dance practice, I had her pour um, three Canadian whiskeys into these Glencairn glasses, and, and then we've marked them with stickers, and we've written it down in a piece of paper behind me. Uh, and so I don't know what I'm going to be uh, nosing and tasting, uh, but they all will be uh, versions of the Mount Logan expressions, um, which are available at Liquor Depot or Wine and Beyond. So this will be sort of a review, uh, but mostly a fun tasting and to see if I can even tell what I'm drinking. Catch after the break. Yeah, well, so thanks for coming back. Um, as I said, I'm pretty excited. So what I have here is uh, our three bottles of uh, Mount Logan. So there's a, a five-year-old release. Oh, I should say, all these Mount Logans are, are, are special bottlings um, from the Highwood Distillery, uh, which is in High River, Alberta, just south of Calgary. Um, but they've, they've produced them or they've been selected by the liquor depot from their casks for release exclusively in their stores. So each of these, this is a five-year-old, and then they have a 15-year-old, and they have a 20-year-old. So um, I'll just say up front, this really isn't an in-depth review. For that, I think uh, if you search online for the Rum Howler, Chris, is it Dykstra? Chris, I'm sorry, we haven't met in person, so I'm not sure if that's how we say your name, but uh, he would definitely have an in-depth review of these. And, and a definitely an inside um, track. He's been in the review business for a long time. But from what I understand, um, even though they all say Canadian rye whiskey, um, it's not really the, what's in these. So, and that's, that's a little bit of a, a sidebar. I really want to just get excited and it's good whiskey and I want to, want to talk about that. Um, as I understand it, the, the 20 year old um, Canadian whiskey here is actually 100% corn. Um, it does say Canadian rye on the label, and I really wish they would change that just to say Canadian whiskey and be proud of that. Uh, they don't have to say that it's corn, but I don't like that they say that it's rye when I know that this is um, just aged in uh, charred American oak corn. Same with the 15-year-old, aged in charred American oak, 100% corn. Uh, I wasn't as clear in finding what's in the 5-year-old. I, I think, but you better do more research to find out, that it's a, a grain whiskey and that it actually has wheat and rye. Now, I don't know if it also has corn, but I know that this one actually has some rye in it, the young one. I'll also disclose to you that I've only ever owned a full bottle of the 15-year-old. So it's really the only one that I probably know or should know how it tastes. And I liked it. It's a good whiskey. So let's see. Uh, what my thoughts are, my, my challenges, I should probably have brought a notebook or something, but I didn't want to you know, be so long uh, with you guys that, that you turned off. Um, I have each of these are marked with a sticker. I don't know if you can see, that one's a green one. Uh, and then there's one here that's a yellow one. And, uh, and then one that's a red one, okay? I have absolutely no idea what's poured in what. Uh, but let's see what I can pick up. So starting with the, the green sticker. Oh, well that one actually, um, and they've been poured about 15, actually it's going on 20 minutes now. This one has quite a bloom of alcohol up front. But as my nose adjusts, it's sweet, gentle. Very light. Um, fruits maybe, but, but pretty, pretty gentle. Okay, going to the yellow. Hmm. This one's uh, more interesting. Um, now it could be, you know, because I went in first 
um, and it's the first whiskey of the night to that one. But this one, there's definitely less alcohol up front. It, it, its nose is smoother. Uh, lots of vanilla. Some toasted sugar in that one. Just first thoughts. I like the nose a bit better. Going to the red one. Oh, this one's got some cherry. Mmm. Now this could be my nose acclimatizing. So let's go back to the first one. Yeah, and, the, and that, you know, alcohol up front that I was getting is, is mostly gone now that my nose has been and working in these cups. But it's still light. Um, not a lot to pick up on that one. Oh, I like the nose of the red one. Oh. Except now I like the nose of the yellow one. I will say they're very clearly in the same family, except for perhaps this one. Now I'm probably gonna start biasing myself and thinking, well, that's the five. Because the 15 to 20 are all corn, so these are probably the corn. But I still like the nose of the red one. Um, by that, I'm saying I can get a little more fruits. I don't want to say banana. It's not banana, um, but there's there's a little something more like a stewed. There's a there's a fruit a fruitiness to this sweet. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Where's this one? Yep, yeah, whatever is in here. The, the green one to me is um, definitely less fruits, uh, uh, but, uh, but the sugars are nice. Um, yeah, so richer noses on those two, yellow and, and red. Lighter nose on the green. Uh, was alcohol up front, but could be just, um, it was the first whiskey I noticed today. All right, I'm gonna start tasting the, uh, the red one. Mm, yeah, vanillas. Oh, flavor up front, like a caramel explosion, candied, um, like, like sugars, but nice and very smooth front. Um, a little peppery, which is nice. Finishes, um, hmm, not my favorite. Let's try the yellow. A um, little more muted. Nothing jumping out. The spice is a little bit less. Well, you know, there creeps up a little bit. Um, but definitely more muted. Kind of just vanilla. Some oak. Not much. All right. Uh, apologize for all the swallowing noises on this episode. Yeah, the nose is just not as rich in this one today. Oh, but really gentle in the mouth. Wow. It's like sublime. Hmm. Wow. So having quickly tasted all the way through and nosed all the way through in a couple of minutes, um, I like them all. They're uh, all, I think, bottled at 40%. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so they are, they are gentler than, than some. Um, well, I really thought I was going to be able to pick out Oh, that's going to be the one with real rye in it, and that one's going to be older. Mm, there's a little bit, a little bit of bitterness in that one.
Wow. The more I taste them, the more almost confused I am. What I should do, I don't know if you know, but I actually shoot all of my episodes in one take. I, I'm just a guy who likes whiskey and I wanna share some of my thoughts, maybe making your purchase decision uh, easier or just sharing a drink with you. Um, I, I certainly don't have the time to uh, cut and retake and all that kind of stuff. I will trim out things, um, but maybe what I should do is, is cut this, taste it a little bit more, just so you're not bored, and see if I really can't chew on these a little bit because they are surprisingly similar and I really was hoping, I thought I wouldn't be able to tell the 15 and 20. I really, I thought, okay. But I thought those two would stand out differently than the five. Tells you you should do blind taste tests more often because I bet if I wasn't doing it blind, I'd be telling you all kinds of difference. Well, okay, so personal taste preference. This is very smooth, this green one. Very smooth, coating, um, easy, easy drinking. So this might be the 20 year old in that it's had a lot of um, subtractiveness from that charred oak, taken away anything offensive. Um, it's just corn. Perhaps, so we'll see. I wasn't drawn to this with the nose and I'm not all that drawn to it with the taste, but it's a very quick tasting. And if it is the 20, it deserves more time. This still feels a little lighter, the red a little heavier. I find the red a little sweeter, uh, not sweeter, fruity, peppery, and finishes a little bitter. Kind of in between these two, the nose. and I guess probably in between the two in the flavor. So, this is my preference tonight, what I would like to drink, and what I think is which. Keeping in mind, I've only ever had a bottle of the 15. <laughs> so, I think, I'm changing my mind from where I started. I think this green one, is the 20 year old. And I think it's very subtle and probably deserves someone with better tasting to pick out all of its flavors. It's my least favorite tonight. The green one, no sorry, yellow, I think is the 15 year old. That's the second of my favorite tonight. And I think this red one is the five year old. And it's my favorite tonight. So this is my pick. 20, today for me was the least favorite. 15, and red, five. Now, let's find out if I'm even remotely close. <laughs> ah, I'm totally embarrassed. This should be live streaming so I can't renege. Wow. <laughs> So, my favorite, the red one, is the 20 year old. Good. <laughs> I like their best whiskey. So, 20 year old, red, was my favorite. It, it, it was my favorite, but I was totally wrong what it was. Then, the yellow was the 15, my middle one. I picked it, yay, <laughs> and, and the green, my least favorite tonight, uh, was the five-year-old. So I don't even know if this is in the shot anymore, but uh, five-year-old, 
15, and uh, 20 year old. Now that I know what they are, that's pretty cool. Um, my initial nose, I, the green was boozy, not much going on. But when I came back to it after having sips from all of them several times, it ended up being pretty smooth. And for a five-year-old, that's pretty impressive. Um, the red, to me, had the best flavor of the night. Uh, and I know I biased myself because I like rye. And I told myself the flavors, the fruits, the, the sugars, the things that I'm enjoying must be coming from rye not corn. And, and I know that's why I said that was the five. It's not. Five was over here, my least favorite. So if you're looking uh, in a liquor depot or one and beyond, I think any one of these are interesting and they're priced this way. The, the one that I like the most is their most expensive. The next one is uh, just a little bit less and the five-year-old is often on sale for a pretty good deal. Um, I would take any of these home but uh, I, I really did like the 20 year old uh, quite a bit more. It, it has a richer nose. Uh, it's got a nice mouthfeel, buttery, but there's still almost a fruitiness in it, uh, which is surprising because it's nothing but corn. And this one's kind of in the middle. It's got a little bit of fruit. It's got some toasted sugars. It's got a, a nose that's intriguing and some spice. The five year old, you know, it's a little boozy in the nose, um, but was surprisingly smooth. And for a five-year-old whiskey, I think quite drinkable. So there you have it. Wow. At least I got one right. <laughs> and, and I'm perfectly happy that I picked the 20-year-old uh, the as my favorite for tonight. So those are my thoughts for Mount Logan. Uh, I'd like to do more blind tasting because uh, I think to me, they, they show my bias a little bit. Uh, they help me... Um, understand the whiskeys that I've got in front of me a little better. And I encourage any of my, my YouTubing friends out there to do the same. Get a friend, uh, a neighbor, get someone to pour for you and then give it a try. And uh, like today, today I, I'm surprised. Not that I like the 20 year old best, but that I, I thought it must have Ryan in it. <laughs> what a great corn whiskey. Thanks guys for joining me. Like, subscribe, give a comment uh, and uh, let me know what you think. You guys have a great night. Bye.